Hello everybody, this is 100DD33, and I just got the 270, so the first animal we're going to try it out on is the coyote. So we're out here on Beaumont Lake, and we actually have two coyotes out here, so we're going to try and take one of them out. Alright guys, so we just spotted our first animal of the hunt, and it happens to be a coyote, and it says very hard. So there's actually two of them there. That one's minor. And that one's very hard. So we want to make sure we get the one that's very hard. And he looks to be about 250 to 300 out there. And we're going to take him with the 270. So like I said, it's going to be pretty difficult to make sure we shoot the right one. Um, so the one that's highlighted is the one we want to shoot. Yeah. Well, can't really tell which one is him anymore. I think that's him on the left there. I think that might be him. But anyways, they shouldn't really go anywhere. You know, they're kind of out on their own, playing around, feeding and whatnot. I don't think they should really leave. Yeah, there are about 200 out there. So, we just need to make sure we get the right one. And that's it. Alright. Alright, so he's on the right. Stop, stop. Now he's on the left. So he's on the left. Ready? He's on the left. Okay, we got him. Don't move, don't move. Okay, we see him, we see him. That's him. He's right there. And... I only saw one run away. And I had it on him pretty good, so I think we probably dropped him. I think we're safe to say we dropped him. Yep, he's dead right here, guys. All right, this is so. This is the first official kill with my new 270, and it happened to be a coyote, and it was very hard. So I'm pretty excited about this. There he is, there. So very hard. I'm not sure if that means that. Uh, I'm not sure if that means that this is a big coyote, or just smart, or what that means. To be honest but we got him and I'm pretty happy let's see what it scores all right so we got a double lung shot at 130 meters so it wasn't that far of a shot but oh wow so it scores 50 and very hard and total score of 501 and we got 1188 cash 162 XP so that's pretty awesome. Definitely can't complain about that. So it looks like we hit a little bit low. But I guess I was aiming for the heart, which would be just a little bit to the right. But I'm definitely happy with that shot. So pretty awesome. First kill with the 270 Huntsman. We're using the Palmer tip bullets. And let's go try and uh, find some more stuff to shoot. Alright guys, so the next animal we have is the bison. And we have a bison here. Actually, there's two or three of them. They're right out, out here at about 50 meters away, 60. And the goal is to try and get within 50 to uh, 45 to 50 meters away and try and take one out with a bow. So I think this one here is going to be probably the best option because he's kind of behind some trees and we should be able to sneak close enough to get a decent shot there's also one over here but I'm not really too concerned about him yeah he's kind of walking away and a little bit too much brush there anyways so this one here should pop out in pretty good range so according to our rangefinder he's 55 meters away right now and if we steps a little bit closer he should be about 52 or 53 the wind's also blown in our face, so we want to aim a little bit higher. Alright, definitely just drilled him. Definitely drilled him. So that was a 53, 54 meter shot, I think. And we hit him pretty good, so let's go check for blood.
Alright guys, check this out. So we have a vital hit. I can't believe we got vital hit. Like I said, that was at least 52 to 55 meters shot. And we got a vital hit. On, this is actually my first bison with a bow. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now we're just going to track him down. And hopefully we find him pretty soon. Alright guys, so we just came over the hill. And we have found some more blood here and there he is down right there so you can see he didn't really go too far at all we definitely made a pretty good shot so I'm excited to go over here and see what he scores and also where we hit him but mostly where we hit him and how far the shot was so he looks pretty cool and especially because he's the first bison I shot with a bow so let's definitely take a nice trophy shot slash screenshot and then we'll see what he scores and where we hit him. Alright that looks pretty cool and you can definitely see we made a pretty good shot. So let's see what it scores. It scores 36 and we shot it at 53.3 meters away. So we made a pretty nice shot and we hit it in the right lung. So we got a uh, score of 221 and 729 cash so pretty awesome for my first bison with a bow and to make a 53 meter shot I couldn't be happier alright that looks pretty cool there and we hit it right dead center in the middle too so I'm pretty happy about that alright now let's go on to the next animal alright guys now we're going after the red deer now what happened is a red deer just called and it's a warning call so I wanted to check out what it was and when I looked over there I saw it was absolutely huge I don't have a red deer call on me so I'm sitting here rattling away with my fallow deer call so I know he's pretty close I'm getting my bow ready and I'm gonna get ready alright I'm gonna crouch up here oh my god he's right there look at the size of this thing alright we're gonna take a shot I I don't know if we hit him or not. I think we hit him. I think we hit him. We're going to go over there and check for blood, but I think we hit him, but I don't know how good we hit him. All right, guys, so we have blood. That's awesome. I'm really happy that we hit him. It is only a flesh wound, but at the same time, I'm very happy we hit him. We didn't get a chance to use the rangefinder. This bull was just way too close and we just had to pop up and take a shot. I basically think he was about 30 meters, but the wind was pushing at us so I had to aim a little bit high. Alright guys, so after tracking him for quite a while, I spotted him again and realized that he's not going to go down. I was hoping that he would die because if you hit a fallow buck or a white tail buck, they will go down with only one flesh shot. But apparently the, these uh, big red deer won't go down with one. Also after reviewing the shot I do realize that the wind pushed my arrow a little bit to the right. And I think it was low. So I think that I hit somewhere below the heart but above the kneecap. Somewhere, somewhere in that region. So maybe that's why it didn't go down. Alright guys. So pretty much like a miracle. After tracking this thing for so long that I actually ended up losing tracks, it ended up backtracking itself and I couldn't figure out what direction it went. Finally, I spotted him. There he is right there. What a monster red deer. The problem is, I have my 270 on me, but my scope is glitched out and I can't get close enough to take another bow shot. He spooked already, and I've been tracking this thing for almost two to three hours by now. So, I'm going to try it with the iron sights, and let's see how this works. Well, it definitely looked good, and I would have said it definitely hit it. Unfortunately, I'm not as good of a shot with the 270 iron sights as I am with the 243 iron sights, because if I had the 243 on me right now, I definitely would have hit that thing but unfortunately I go over there and there's absolutely no blood to be found at all so what I think is that if you hit a deer a big game animal and eventually uh, 
if you hit it in the flesh, eventually it will just stop bleeding because I actually lost blood. I, I couldn't find any more, blo more blood at all. So, I had to track him for another hour or two, and this is what happens next. Oh my god, you guys, we finally found him. And he is huge. So he's coming towards us, and we don't have a call, but for some reason he's coming in. And we're going to get ready with the bow. I kid you not, we've been tracking this thing from the first shot. It was 12 o'clock. It's now 15 o'clock game time. So five hours later, we finally found this thing. And I do not want to screw this up. Okay, guys, we're getting the bow ready. And we're going to crouch up. He's coming in. We're drawing back. We got to take the shot. Oh, we definitely hit him good. He is hammered. That's some good blood there. I can't believe we finally hit him. And he should go down. All we got to do now is find him. Well guys, there's nothing like the feeling of having some really good blood, especially after tracking an animal for over five game hours. But we finally got him hit, and he should go down pretty soon. Now we're just going to keep tracking him here. I wish I could tell the percentage of the blood, but either way, I don't think he should go too far. I watched him run off this direction, so he should be just around this point here. Alright guys, we just found him down here. And I can't believe he's down. It's just been so long. And he's huge. He's actually the first red deer uh, male that I've seen. So I'm not really sure what they score or whatnot. But, I mean, you can see here he's obviously in the brush. Unfortunately, we can't really get a good look at him. So, let's see what he scores. And he scores 152. And the difficulty is hard. So I think that's huge. I've seen some people shoot red deer and they score between like 125 and 135. And I think those are pretty big. So in my opinion, 152 is pretty much like giant. Uh, even if he didn't score this high, I still think he's huge. I mean, just the antlers in general are just monster. So we got a total score of 580. And wow, look at the cash. 1,259. That's more than my coyote. So I think the the uh, harder the difficulty and the higher the score, I guess that means the more the cash you get too. So that's pretty awesome. And you can see we only hit him one time in the right lung. And as you guys saw, I definitely hit him before. This is the same one. Everything about him is exactly the same. But he's only hit one time. So I think maybe if you hit him in the flesh um, on a big game, eventually the uh, the wound just like heals up or something. So I don't know. But yeah, we shot him at 10.34 meters and we hit him in the flesh and right lung. So perfect shot. And well, that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.